Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In this video, we are going to discuss three definitions of acids and bases. We are gonna cover Arrhenius acids and bases, Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases, and Lewis acids and bases. So let's get started. Let's start with our simplest definition of an acid and a base. We'll start with our Arrhenius definition. Now in the Arrhenius definition, an acid is a molecule that is going to produce a proton in aqueous solution, and a base is a molecule that is going to produce a hydroxide ion in aqueous solution. So let's see an example of this. Let's take hydrochloric acid for our acid. When we put it in water, we get a proton or an H plus cation and a chloride anion. It is an acid in the Arrhenius definition because it has produced a proton. Let's take a look at a base, sodium hydroxide. When we put this in water, we get a sodium cation and we get hydroxide as an anion. Because we get hydroxide, it is a base according to the Arrhenius definition. Our Arrhenius definition works very well for many acids and bases. However, there are some species where the Arrhenius definition just does not fit. And one of these species is ammonia. Ammonia is a known base, however, it does not produce hydroxide ions. So two scientists, Bronsted and Lowry, came up with a broader definition for acids and bases. So using the Bronsted-Lowry definition, an acid is going to donate a proton in aqueous solution, and a base is going to accept a proton in aqueous solution. Let's look at some examples. Our hydrochloric acid in aqueous solution still is an acid under our Bronsted-Lowry definition. It's still donating a proton. For our base, let's take a look at ammonia because it does not fit our Arrhenius definition. However, it will fit our Bronsted-Lowry definition. So for Bronsted-Lowry base, ammonia must accept a proton, and it does this by accepting a proton from water. It forms the ammonium cation and what's left is hydroxide from this OH left in water. So our ammonia molecule has accepted a proton from water to become ammonium. There is one more definition that I want to go over, and that is the Lewis definition for acids and bases. And yes, this is the same Gilbert Lewis of Lewis structure fame. Now for the Lewis definition, an acid is going to accept an electron pair and a base is going to donate an electron pair. Let's take a look at the reaction of aluminum trichloride with a chloride anion. We will start by drawing our Lewis structures. You will notice in these Lewis structures that aluminum does not have a complete octet. It will accept an electron pair from chloride. Chloride donates that electron pair. Therefore, the aluminum trichloride acts as the acid, and the chloride anion acts as a Lewis base. And here is the Lewis structure for our product. So this acid-base reaction has formed a new aluminum chlorine bond. Before we leave our definitions, there is just a little bit of vocabulary that I want to go over. Many acids can donate more than one proton, and we have names for those. So when an acid can donate one proton, we call it a monoprotic acid. If it can donate two, it's a diprotic, or three, it is a triprotic. 
Now obviously there are acids out there that can donate more than three protons, but for our discussion three protons is generally going to be our max. Moving forward in this playlist, we are going to most often use the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases. The Arrhenius definition isn't quite broad enough for us, and Lewis acids and bases, those generally have more applications in organic chemistry. Now in my next video, we are going to discuss the difference between a strong acid and base versus a weak acid and base. So I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks so much for watching.